Now, the first thing that we are going to be talking about is alpha lock. Now, alpha lock is pretty simple. So to create alpha lock um, to whichever layer you want, just click onto that specific layer and click alpha lock. Now, alpha lock locks the transparency of the layer. Now, what does it mean? It recognizes the shape that you have onto the layer and whatever you add, be it texture, detail, or any shading to the element, it won't go outside the lines of that shape and it will just remain inside of that um, particular shape and it won't ruin any of other elements that you might have on your artwork. So that's what it does. So here I'm just gonna add some shadows. So as you guys can see, the shadows aren't really going out of that leaf and they are staying inside. Now the problem with alpha lock is you cannot really go back and fix the shadows at this point just because we have created these shadows over that base layer. So let's just suppose your client wants some changes in the shadows, but to make those changes, you'll have to create the leaves again because you added those shadows directly onto the base layer. So in that case, clipping mask comes into the picture. So I'm just gonna do this. So to create clipping mask, create a new layer, tap onto the layer and click on clipping mask. Now it actually acts as alpha lock, but into a different layer. So if I want to add shadows, what I'll do is I'll create this layer, add clipping mask, and I'll start adding the shadows onto the leaf like this. The client wants me to change the shadow or add some different texture onto the leaf. I can actually go back into this layer where we created clipping mask and I can I can actually recreate the shadows or the texture that I created without having to um, destruct or mess up the base layer. So that is why I highly recommend using clipping mask when you are creating an artwork which requires um, too much details and also if you're working for a client so always always use clipping mask rather than using alpha lock in that case now let's just talk about masking layer masking functions just like an alpha lock but it has just one difference so instead of respecting um, the transparency of the layer itself when the layer masking is enabled it actually respects the transparency of the parent layer so let's just suppose i created a mask to this layer right here i'll get this masking layer just above it so whatever changes i make onto this layer will directly affect the parent layer without destructing it without messing it up so whenever you need to add some changes to this layer you can actually go back to the layer mask of the parent layer and you can add changes and modify the layer. I hope that makes sense. So also you wanna keep in mind one thing, when you are using layer mask, the black color always hides and the white color shows. So if I use black color and I want to erase some part of these two circles like this, it will do that but I'll have to use a black color for that as you guys can see now as you guys can see here I kind of erased some parts of those two circles without messing up the base layer right here so that's how masking is really useful now if I want some of those areas back what I'll do is I'll just go back and pick up white color and I will just go over the areas where I want the color back and it will show the base layer again like this. So that's how layer masking works. And it is really, really effective if you are working for a client or if your artwork has a lot of details and you go back and forth to add changes and modifications to the layer. Then layer masking is really, really useful. I never use layer mask, but it is actually really helpful and I would highly recommend it, especially if you're working for a client. So that's the three main 
layer options that you have which is alpha lock clipping mask and layer masking that's how these three different types of masking works so i really hope you guys liked this mini video and if you did please do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up also do subscribe to my channel i post every monday and friday and yeah if you do create something out of my tutorials then tag me on instagram and i will link it down in the description as well other than that i will see you guys the next time